As we continue with our golf prep, we're working into the spine now. Now we've worked from rotation. Now we work some lateral flexion of that spine. Not only do we need to be able to move forward and back, we need to work the rotation. We also need lateral flexion. So we think about a golf swing from, from my perspective as a lefty. As I come here into my back swing, I will have some lateral flexion on my right side. And then as I come through my follow through, I will have some lateral flexion on the left side. So it would be vice versa for a right golf, a right handed golfer. As I come into my, in my back swing, I have a lateral flexion on my left side. And then as I follow through, I'll have a lateral flexion on my right side. So we always think rotation with the golf swing, which we need, but we also need to have control and capacity at the lateral flexion of the spine. So we have four stages here as we work through this bow and arrow sequence. First stage, we'll work just to kind of get the lateral flexion hip shift, and then we will build in complexity. So you just need to train what's best for you. As you progress, as you improve, you can move into further stages depending on what your goals and what your program calls for. So I'm gonna start with about hip shoulder width stance. I'm gonna take my stick in front of the body. I will have it angled across towards, in this case, my left shoulder. Take my left hand at the top of the stick here. I'm gonna drive the stick into the floor for stability. I'm gonna keep that stick right in front of me. My right hand will come right on top of the stick here. And then what I'm gonna do is I'm just gonna slide my right hand down the stick, keep contact with both hands and stick the whole time as I shift my hips to the left and then laterally flex to my right. So it'll look like this here. I would just breathe, relax into it, shift to the left, keep driving the stick down with my left hand, slide my right hand down. I'm shifting my hips to the left, flexing my right, sliding my hand down. Keep that pressure straight back up to the top. Breathe as I work into my next rep. Shift away from my hand that I'm sliding down with and back to the top. So just keep that good cadence, good pressure, laterally flex. You can push a little further each time, making sure to breathe through it for the duration of the set. You complete the, the prescribed number of reps. Move to the right, switch sides, right hand switches. Now we are moving to the left. So that is stage one. Stage two, I will still be flexing my right in this case. I'm gonna have my stick about a foot, foot and a half directly out from the side of my body. Slight bend of this elbow. What I'm gonna do is I'm gonna shift to my left again, drive the stick down into the floor with my right hand, and then I will just shift to my right and reach over the top. If I can grab the stick, if I can touch the stick, that's great. If not, we can, just, we can always just shift it out a little bit more just to give us something to reach for. As I shift my hips to the left, flex to my right, reach up and over, feel that stretch on the opening side, reach, come back to the start position, drive that stick into the floor, get good, con good contraction, good tension on my right side. As I shift to the left, reach up and over, come back down. Again, complete the prescribed number of reps, switch to the left, and then I will complete my reps moving to the right side. Okay, so from there, step three, or stage three. So I'm gonna take the stick to the exact same position. Now I'm gonna grab the stick over the top and then I will shift to my left, reach. I'm gonna use my middle hand to push. Top hand will be kind of more of, a, more of a stability hand. You can get a little bit of a pull, but really just think drive down with that left hand and we're gonna push with that right hand. So I shift to my left and then I will push, get that left open, right contraction. I can come back up or I can just get down here, hold that contraction, breathe into it. As you breathe, try to get a little bit more going to that side, complete the prescribed number of reps or hold for the prescribed time. Switch to the left, left hands directly out to the side, grab it with the right side and then I will shift away and then push with that left arm. Really feel that right side open up come back down. Okay, so that's stage three. Now we're going to stage four. Everything else is gonna be the same. So I'll have stick out to the side, grab it over here. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna step across with my right foot. So the inside foot, the one that's closest to the stick, will step across and I will grab the stick. I will be holding the stick already and create my bow and arrow. So I'm here, over the top, step, laterally flex as I shift hips to the left, flex on my right side, drive the stick down on the floor and Press with the right side, come back down. I can just stay here, big inhale, big exhale.
Drive, 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 drive. Come back down for the prescribed number of reps. Switch, inside foot, steps across, and from there. So that it's not necessarily about how far or how hard I can push the stick, but just knowing that the stick motion comes from the lateral flexion and the hip shift that I'm creating. So that is our bow and arrow with the stick. We got four stages there. Remember, we don't want to be working through or into any pain or pinching. So if you notice anything, just cool it back down a little bit. Go back to stage one. Just work on that lateral flexion as you progress, as you practice this more. Move from stage two, three, and finally stage four. That's the stick bow and arrow. Give it a shot.